Hello and welcome to the Top 3 Channel. Top 3 Channel is brought to you by Hopelify.org to inspire you to become the very best that you are designed to be. A few simple keys, mastered and consistently applied, are all you need to excel in each area of life. Hit the subscribe button to receive more Top 3 videos. Enjoy! When a person that's new in sales and new as an entrepreneur, you know, starts doing their business, they get disappointed very quickly because they don't realize you can do everything right with a client, with an agent, with an employee, with a salesperson, you can do everything right and they can still change their minds. Why? Because people often change their minds. People are emotional beings. Well, Pat, what should I put my focus into? Should I not trust people? I don't know if I'm saying that. This is what I'm saying to you. I know I can control my effort. I can't control everybody's effort. I can control my attitude. I can't control everybody's attitude. I can't control me keeping my word. I can't control everybody keeping their word. I can't control me not changing my mind all the time. I can't control people changing their minds all the time. I can't control how I'm gonna behave on a daily basis. I can't do the other side. By the way, systems are not emotional. You can control systems. People are emotional. You can't control people. Trust systems, drive systems, trust your mission, trust your vision, trust your crusade, trust what your vision is long term and what you're gonna be able to do. At the beginning stages of you being a salesperson or an entrepreneur, you can't do that with people because they're gonna often change their minds. Now, does this mean it's always gonna be like that? Not at all, why? The longer you're in business, you eventually find a group of people that buy into you. You eventually find a group of people that understand how consistent you are. You eventually find a group of people that wanna be in business with you forever. You eventually find a group of people that like your style. You eventually find a group of people that like your vision, your crusade, your cause, your mission, and your vision is so big that other people's vision also fits into it, but it won't happen right off the bat. And so while you're watching this video and you're asking yourself, oh my gosh, you know, I, 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 if I land this one client, it's gonna make me $300,000, it's gonna change my life. I can't wait to land this client. If I land that one sales guy, he's the best in the market, I gotta get this guy. What happens if they change their minds? Do you also change your mind? What happens if they say no? Do you also get down on yourself and say, oh my gosh, I don't have the business for me? No. Don't let other people's emotions and decisions and constant changing their minds dictate your mind. You focus on your vision, your mission, and long-term things that you want to do with your life. And eventually, you'll find enough people that want to run with you. I talk to a lot of people who are about to have a breakthrough, right? They're about to have a breakthrough, but they have convinced themselves in here of one thing. And let me tell you what it is. They've convinced themselves that what they're going through, no one's ever gone through before. That their wall is bigger than everybody else's wall that their difficulty, no one knows how hard it is, but you don't know what I'm going through, but you don't know my difficulty, you don't know my family, you don't know my heartache, you don't know my enemy, you don't know who I'm facing, you don't know this opponent, he's so manipulative. You don't know how the industry is, you don't know how the market is. You don't know the company I'm a part of, you don't everything that said, you don't know my wife, you don't know my boyfriend, you don't know my husband, you don't know my parents, you don't know who I am, my difficulties are bigger than your difficulties. And that's why I can't overcome these difficulties. Let me explain something to you. You know what's dangerous? Is if you actually believe that. Because if you actually believe it, you are right. There's nobody else that can do any convincing for you. But it's in that moment, look at Hollywood. You think everybody in Hollywood's a good actor? Honestly, I can name you 20 people that are terrible actors who have had a career of 20 plus years. You can as well but they persevered, they believed they belonged in that space, even though how many auditions you think they got passed up on? You think in basketball, everybody's got a God-given talent? You think Steph Curry can jump like LeBron James or Vince Carter? I would say Vince Carter's got God-given abilities. I don't know if Steph Curry's got the same kind of God-given abilities as LeBron or Vince Carter or any of these guys. In baseball, you think everybody's got this perfect 2020 vision like Ted Williams had? It's a lot of guys that hit a wall that they had to overcome. A lot of guys that had to play AAA for a couple years before somebody picked them up. A lot of them. So is in business. But no matter what you're doing, anticipate the wall. You're going to hit it. And in those moments, whatever you tell yourself, if you convince yourself 
that the difficulty you're facing is harder than everybody else's and you buy it, you will stay where you're at. But if you convince yourself that whatever you, wall you've hit, other people have overcome it and so can you, you go through that wall, wall as well. In the world that you get to choose, anybody, pick them. Pat, I'd love to have you as a mentor. Maybe Tony, maybe Elon. Pick whoever you think is the best mentor for you. And imagine if you have this person in your life. And simultaneously, you have five negative people in your life, okay? So one incredible mentor and five absolutely negative people in your life. Who do you think wins? I'm being serious. Who do you think wins? Do you think even with those five negative people in your life and this one incredible mentor, do you think you're still gonna end up winning? Who's more powerful? You see, there's this whole notion that people think if I had this incredible mentor, Pat, I'm gonna kill it in life, even with the five negative people in my life. It's not how it works. See, it doesn't work that way. Those five negative people have way more influence on your life than that one incredible mentor. And here's why. Think about these people that are super successful. How many people you think have worked with them directly? Think about it. How many people you think Ilan has touched? How many people you think Steve touched? Gates has touched? Tony's touched? How many people you think they've touched? How come not all of them became successful? They're incredible mentors, aren't they? Why is that? See, because even the most ridiculous mentor in the world can't stop those five negative people that steal all the dreams from your mind and from your heart. They don't have that kind of influence. So that negative cousin of yours that calls you bitching all the time, you gotta stop picking up his calls. That friend of yours that's always spreading gossip to you about everybody's personal life, you gotta stop picking up her calls. That best friend of yours from high school who thinks rich people are greedy and they suck, she is sucking all your dreams out of you and you don't even know it. Thank you for watching today's top three video. This channel is brought to you by HopeLify.org to inspire you to become the very best that you were designed to be. Remember, a few simple keys, mastered and consistently applied, are often all we need to excel in each area of life. You can help make this channel even better in three simple ways. One, subscribe to receive more top three videos. Two, leave a comment below to let me know what resonates with you from today's top three video. Or three, suggest a topic for a top three video that you will like for us to feature on this channel. Visit hopelify.org to post your own inspirational content.